the green team! This is our water quality lab. In this lab, we tested the water quality of Smith Creek and the holding pond behind our school. We hypothesized that the conditions of the water would have de decreased from years past and that the phosphates and the nitrates would have changed due to the connection to the Noose River. Possible contaminants to Smith Creek could be upstream from the connection to the Noose River Noose River, which is adjacent to multiple neighborhoods that use fertilizer to preserve their lawns. Some negative outcomes of uh, use of fertilizers could be increased phosphates and nitrates, which can lead to algal blooms that remove large amounts of dissolved oxygen from the water. During this lab, we, the green team, tested nitrates using a water quality test kit and tested both the holding pond and the Smith Creek for nitrates. Without further ado, let's get into the testing. <laughs> Stop dabbing! This is for video evidence! Get it, David! Did you get it? Well done, boy! This is science with Joe I'm already Carlos recording and the green team. <laughs> right. So we're going to be doing nitrates this day. So first we gotta take this one. Pond water. This is pond water just saying. Okay, 10 milliliters. Let's take this into the rear of the low range comparative. Mm -hmm. Right. Now we have this test tube, 2.5. We fill this with 2.5 milliliters of mixed acid region. Dr. Blackman. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Dr. Blackman. Thank you, Dr. Blackman. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, hand me the pipette. Thank you, sir. This is not surgery. This is not surgery. I'm not going to pipette. Got it. Alright, we are proceeding to put the mixed acid region. Alright, let's see how much we can put in here. As you can see, the doctor's salad is 0.5 milliliters. Now, we must continue this process and going back to the doctor. Right. <laughs> Science is never right. <laughs> right. Now we must wait for two minutes. Cap and mix. <laughs> and wait two minutes. This is how I spend my time at the bar. Specifically, the nitrate reducing region. Nitrate reducing region. Good stuff, good stuff. A teaspoon of the stuff. A teaspoon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, our banter stopped quality. Alright, it looks about right. Tap it off. And press it 60 times. Alright, it's been two minutes. And now we need to add 0.1 gram spoon to this bad boy to add one little measure of nitrate reducing regions. Let's go. Yeah, to avoid using excess, I hate the side of the thing. What? A little too much. Yeah, we gotta put that. We gotta put that. Careful not to snort. Or that, whatever the hell. All right, here we go. 
it's entering the test tube. After entering test tube, now repeat it. Invert it 60 times in one minute. That means every second. And we're back. After 10 minutes, we mix this solution for another minute. Just a little bit. Oh, okay. Just a little bit. And then we remove the cap. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get a good angle. Right? Insert into the lens comparator. You then compare it to other levels of nitrate. Alright, let's see what we got. Goddamn yellow. <laughs> Right, so comparing it now, it looks like lesser than 0.2 uh, ppm of nitrate, nitrate, nitrate. Look at the In conclusion, we the green team found that in both the stream water and the pond water, the amount of nitrates were much higher than historical data and also much higher than the ideal amount. Possible sources of this contamination were from fertilizers used in the grass and also from our waste from the school. We could reduce this contamination by reducing farming in the area and stop dumping our 